Let's go to page 101 and start with number 124. It says find an expression for f of 4x in terms of f of x, giving that f of x equal to x over x minus 1. Okay, so since you're looking for this, so we're just going to put in here and go straight forward. Okay, now if this is giving and you have to look for that, then you have to do the, you know, let y equal to 4x and, and go there. So this is a straightforward way. So f of 4x will equal to, so whenever you see x, it becomes 4x. So x becomes 4x, x becomes 4x. Okay. And then next, uh, you want to go ahead and Since you wanted this in term of f of x, so we need to solve for the x so we can substitute. Okay, so from here you go off to the side. Okay, so you cross multiply, you're gonna get x, f of x minus f of x equal to x. And then move this over, move this over, so you got x, um, f of x minus x equal to f of x. So move this over, move this over, so we can factor out the x. So what we're doing is we're solving for x in term of f of x, so we can substitute back in here. Okay. So you, this becomes f of x minus 1 equal to f of x. So divide, so x equal to f of x over f of x minus 1. Okay. Okay. So again, we want to find this in term of that. That's why we have to solve for x so we can get rid of the x. So we can substitute all this into here. Uh, I'm going to move a bit over so we get more space. So this will equal to 4 times the x equal to f of x over f of x minus 1 over 4 times f of x over f of x minus 1 minus 1. Okay, so you can. So what we did over here is we solve for x so we can substitute back in here. Solve for x in terms of f of x. Okay. So now it's a complex fraction. So with a complex fraction, again, we're going to multiply by common denominator. Um, but before we do that, let's go and multiply this in here. So multiply, you're going to get 4 f of x over f of x minus 1. On the bottom, you're going to get the same thing. So, f, uh, so you're going to get 4 f of x over f of x minus 1 minus 1. Okay, so we're going to simplify the complex fraction. So we're going to multiply every term by f of, by f of x minus 1. Okay, so it's going to multiply that. So this times this times that this will cancel out, so you're gonna get four f of x on top. This one when you multiply this will cancel out, so you're gonna get four f of x over here. And this times this because there's a negative, right? So this times that will give you minus f of x. This times that will give you plus one. And then you simplify a little bit. So you're gonna get four f of x over three f of x plus 1. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, it says giving a function f of x satisfying the f of x plus 2 f of 1 over 1 minus x is equal to x. You're looking for f of 2. Okay, okay since, since you're looking for f of 2, we're going to let x equal to 2. Okay, so we can get that, right? Okay, so this will become f of 2 plus 2 times f of um, negative 1. Okay, equal to 2. Okay. 
Um, so now we have f of negative 1. So we have to figure out, so we're going to let x equal to negative 1, right? So let x equal to negative 1. So you're going to get f of negative 1 uh, plus 2 times f of, so put negative 1 over here. So 1 minus negative 1 give you 2, so it be 1 half. Okay? And this will equal to negative 1. So what you want to do, you want to keep doing that, eventually you come to a full, cir so, uh, full circle or full cycle. Okay, so you need f of 2, so you let x equal to 2 to find that, right? But when you do that, you end up with a f of negative 1. So you need to, so that's why you're going to let it f x equal to negative 1 so you can find that. So when you do that, you end up with a half. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue. So you're going to let x equal to 1 half. Okay, so you substitute into here. So you're going to get f of 1 half plus 2 times. So you put 1 half in here. So 1 minus 1 half give you 1 half. 1 over 1 half would become 2. Okay, so now it all become nice, right? Okay. So now it's just made of solving. Okay. Um, I'm going to, so first... I'm going to multiply this by 2 to get rid of the f of negative 1. So I'm going to multiply this by 2, uh, multiply by negative 2. Okay, multiply by negative 2, and I'm going to put it over here. Okay. So multiply by negative 2, I get negative 2 f of negative 1 minus 4 f of 1 half equal to positive 2. Okay, and then I'm, again, I'm just using elimination method. I'm going to put this under here and line things up. So I get minus 2 f of negative 1, and I'm going to minus 4 f of 1 half. This will equal to 2. Okay, so when I add, this will cancel out. So I get f of 2 minus 4 f of 1 half equal to 4. Okay, so now I'm going to use this to eliminate that. So I need to have a 4. So I'm going to need to multiply this by 4. So I get 4f of 1 half plus 8f of 2 equal to 2. Okay, multiply by 4. Again, the reason I'm doing that so I can eliminate the f of 1 half. Okay, so now I'm going to put this over here. So you can so put this over here. This this one comes over here. Okay. Now once you add, you're gonna get nine f of two. This cancels out equal to six. And now all you have to just divide by nine. So f of two equal to two over three. Okay. So again, whenever you're looking for f of 2, you know, like this kind of situation, just let x equal to 2 and see what you get. And once you do it, you notice you have additional function f of negative 1. So just let x equal to negative 1, okay, and so that you can use elimination method. But when you do that, you got additional function of half. So then you let x equal to half. And so mo most of the time, in order to solve, most of the time this would be cyclic. Means you go in a cycle and you, it becomes f of 2, okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so solve the equation. You have f of x plus t equal to f of x plus f of t plus 2 square root of f of t, square root, uh, square root of f of x, square root of f of t. So you're looking for f of x equal to question mark. Okay. So again, this is a functional equation, so we can set the variable to different values, so we can help us to simplify the equation. Okay. So since we're looking for f of x, okay, so that means in order to 
get this to that, we need to let t equal to zero. Okay. So let t equal to zero. So this will becomes that, and then we we get what we what we're looking for. So this becomes f of x equal to f of x plus f of zero plus two square root of f of x square root of f of zero. And then from here, notice this we cancel out, right? And if you, um, if you move this over and flip the equation, you get two square root of f of x square root of f of zero equal to negative f of zero. Okay, so you can move this over by flip the you know flip the equation. Okay, so this is equal to negative f of zero. And again, we're looking for f of x, so we need to solve for that. So you need to go and square both sides. Okay. So square both sides, you're going to get 4. So, so go and square both sides. So 2 squared give you 4, and square of this will give you f of x. Square of this, the square and square will cancel out, so it'll be f of 0. Now this one, negative squared give you positive f of the zero square will give you f of zero square. Okay. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by f of zero. Okay. So this will cancel out. So you got four f of x equal to f of zero. Okay. This will, this divide by that give you that. The next thing is that when you have f of 0, means all the variable will become 0, so all you have is going to be a constant. So f of 0 is a constant number, okay? So f of 0 equal to a constant. And we're just going to call that, that equal to, let's just call it a. Again, you can use c, you can use any, any variable. Okay, so equal to a, so you got 4 times f of x equal to a. So f of x will equal to a over 4, okay? Okay, but we still not done yet because we still don't know what a is, okay? So we need to solve for a, okay? Once we know a, then we can find our answer. Okay, to find a, since we know f of x equal to a over 4, we can go back over here, okay, to so solve for a. So f of x equal to a over 4, so a over 4 equal to a over 4. Now f of 0 is equal to number a, right? So plus a plus 2 times square root of f of x is a over 4. And a, so this is a, okay? Okay, so again, this cancels out. So you got 0 equal to a plus, uh, so when you, when you simplify, so square root of a square root, so the 2 is from here. Square root of a, square root of a, will give you a. Now, square root of 1 over 4 will give you 1 over 2. Okay? And so you're going to get 0 equal to... So when you simplify this, the 2 cancels out, will be plus a. So you got 0 equal to 2a. So divide by 2. So you got a equal to 0. Okay? So once you know a equal to 0, you can put it back over here. So you got f of x equal to 0 over 4. So f of x is also equal to 0, okay, so f of x equal to 0.